What is up, bros? Me, Josh, and today's video is all about the Duca Degli Abruzzi, or the Abruzzi for short. I still call this one the Abruzzi, and I still call the Tier 6 the Duca. So if I ever say that, it may be a little confusing. I'm sorry. The, the Aust is the Tier 6, the Abruzzi is the Tier 7. So whenever we're saying anything, I eventually say the Duca. I'm referring to the Tier 6. So I'll try not to do that in this video to avoid some confusion. So this is actually a video that I kind of forgot I never really did and this is the finalized version of this ship because it did go through some work in progress phase I made a video on the work in progress ship a while ago and it's finally been it's finished it's live this this ship's been live for a while now at least a month or so and um, what its final version is I never really made a video of it and it's a ship I actually quite enjoy and it's kind of funny because I really don't like the tier six I feel like it's it's one of the worst tier six cruisers um, for me to play at least although every time I tend to play it I seem to have decent games but it's it's still I, I really dislike the tier six it has a lack of range with this one kind of did as well and with the recent change um, what this ship ended up getting was it ended up getting a heal but it did basically change, and you could still run it, but the spotter plane, which was originally in the healing spot, um, got switched to whether you want AA or not. So since this is a tier 7 ship, and especially when I play tier 7, there tends to be a lot of CVs in that 6 to 7, the 5, 6, 7 range right now. Um, it's where a lot of people are starting to play CVs, and it's just a, a, there tends to be a lot of CVs, so I always like to run AA with any of those ships. But you could switch out the uh, tier seven or the uh, the AA consumable for spotter plane. So this ship still has kind of a short range at fifteen point one, um, but it's it's much more competitive than let's say the Duca di Asta tier six, which is one of the reasons why I really dislike the ship. But this one I find to be very fun. I actually really enjoyed this ship when it, even when I played it when it was first work in progress and the finalized version of the ship as well. I find it to just be very fun, and you're gonna see kind of a disappointing first. I think it's on this first salvo. Okay, maybe it's not on this first one, but you're going to find out pretty quickly. Um, the, the French Cruisers, this is the second one, and uh, it's hopefully open up to a fun trainer when the line goes live. But you're about to see what an HE firing battleship does to your torque tubes. Both of the French Cruisers tend to have relatively um, far torps. The, the Diosta at tier 6 actually has some of the longest torps in the game at that tier. I think it does have the longest torps in the game. Um, especially at tier six, but this has 12 kilometer torps, which is pretty good. They're not extremely fast, um, and they, you know, they're not going to do a ton of damage. But they are actually really good because they reload so quick, and uh, they can actually be a pretty, and they have a good uh, torque mark. They can actually be pretty aggressive with it. But I'm honestly not going to be able to use them too much because I'm eventually a. Uh, you guys will see what happens. It's kind of depressing, but this ship honestly plays a little bit different than any other like you try to make a comparison when i'm going over these um these ships like oh it plays a lot like this it plays a lot like this at tier seven there really isn't much like this the the firing arcs to me kind of feel like a belfast-esque and uh the rate of fire is just really good and the ship is just honestly really fun and this is kind of surprising because i really don't like the tier six and uh, but i actually enjoy this ship and it's a ship i don't play tier sevens as much as i used to anymore um, but this is a ship that I would have no problem going back to and actually have a lot of fun playing. Um, 32,500 life. That hasn't changed since the work in progress phase. Um, but still, overall, I think this is when the Leon uh, lets me know that I won't ever get the launch torps again. I think it's the Sevo HE firing battleships. Best firing battleships. And there we go. Instantly, both torpedo tubes knocked out. What are you going to do? Um, luckily, I do have the heal, so it does give it a bit more survivability. You can get a bit aggressive, but what these ships are really, really good at is kiting away and getting that range from uh, getting that range from a ship and using that really good fire chance and a, a pretty good rate of fire to uh, to just kind of just burn somebody down. You're relatively agile as well. And again, but what you do have to work with the with the range, of course, that key. If I would have had a spotter plan, be able to work them down. And honestly, it's it's doable even with the spotter plane. It bumped me up to about 18 kilometers, which would be a tough a tough hit well, with this arc. But it would still be doable. Um, it's not quite as bad as let's say like a you know like a Cleveland arc or something like that, like a USN arc. But still, overall, a pretty solid ship. And at a tier seven cruiser, I find tier seven to be a very fun, uh, very fun tier. So it's cool that this line was. I was, you know, the the Italian lines, as you can see right there, there's another one. Um, the Italian ships tend, at the start, were pretty 
questionable. And um, they kind of had this style of being relatively stealthy and having kind of mediocre guns. Um, the Duca was kind of its own thing. Well, I, again, I was saying the Duca, I mean the tier six, the Diosta. Um, of kind of having really poor range, of, uh, of, but you know, you're pretty maneuverable. The AP was solid if something was giving you broadside, but it had to give you broadside. A super low fire chance um, on the tier six. And you basically had to get super lucky. I think it had one. I think it had the lowest fire chance of, of any cruiser at tier six um, by a long shot. But the AP and the trajectory was, was pretty nuts. This one feels more just like a straight up current meta cruiser. And what I mean by that is that you can basically be a normal cruiser and spam HE and be very effective. Now, I, I this is without inertia fuse captain. This is just with a normal captain, and it still pumps out some pretty massive damage. Um, you know good fire rate good everything it it, it kind of feels like a bit of a weaker belfast when you purely look at shells like that um when you're just doing comparison but the damage fe feels good when you play this rate of fire feels good and it's not like you're really gonna miss anything and of course inertia fuse would help you do a little bit without the damage but you would lose out on some uh, fire chance but still i don't i didn't have it with it but i you know is it needed no you could just go out and kind of do it. I think I run a, I think it's a 14 point captain, concealment expert, and AFT to help knock those planes out. You're not going to be getting clear skies with their ships, but it's still kind of nice, especially if you're rolling with a div mate, to give them as much AA cover as possible. Um, but overall, this ship is a lot of fun. It, it has a comfortable play style, you know, especially with that heal, you get a little bit extra survivability. But this is just a fun overall cruiser. 15.1 kilometer range, it's not the greatest, but you could easily run a. Uh, Concealment expert, or not concealment expert, the the spotter plane, which would help you because uh, you're getting up tiered. You know, at tier seven, you could go against tier nines, and you're gonna want a little bit more range than that. But overall, it's agile, it's fun, especially when you don't get your torps knocked out by an HE firing battleship. You can really have a lot of fun being kind of a dual threat of relatively sneaky 9.5 kilometer uh, detection, going in uh, and, and put, dropping down 12 kilometer torps on a pretty fast reload. You could be very, very effective. Now, we can just kind of watch. I'm going to shoot down these planes. No, your AA is not going to be anything crazy. It's not USN level or anything like that. But we're going to do some decent damage against this New Mexico as you're going. And this is something you'll kind of see regularly when you're playing this ship. Is just you're able to punish. And it's really... It's it's fun. I like it. And uh, we don't know what's going to end up happening with Italian ships in the future. Of course, as they were... Um, a part of history, so I assume we'll see them. This is the third Italian ship, and I think this is probably ship for ship. This is the best Italian ship in the game. You know, you have the Diosta at six, uh, you have the Roma at tier eight, the battleship, and now you have this one. I'm um, at seven. That uh, this is by far the best, in my opinion. I think the Roma is fun in its own way. I think the Diosta is, if you like it, you know, it, it can be very rewarding that ship. Um, but if, if you're looking at, I want to pick up an Italian ship to train something or play it, this is so far and beyond, um, the best one to have, go out there, have fun and be very effective at what you do. I mean, just kind of seeing, being able to, to swing around, do a bunch of stuff, do a bunch of damage. I mean, we're all, we're about ready to go to farm city on this and stack up some more damage this game. Um, little bit of a downer that we didn't have any torp tubes. We lost those pretty easy. But you could have seen how fast these torps actually launch because they tend to be not the fastest, but they tend to have a very fast reload time. So you can just uh, you know keep pumping them out. You don't have to give up much broadside. You can torp almost. Uh, you know, you're giving up a little bit of an angle. You can torp forward pretty well, and um, use them as that's kind of what I do. Is as I'm pushing in towards something. I'll launch the side on the right, launch the side on the left, and kind of just keep pushing because you don't really have to give up that much of an angle to actually get them out because they do have pretty damn good torque angles. But um, yeah, this is just the video I wanted to make on this ship because I never I brought it up. Somebody said, "Hey, can you do the updated version?" The heal is what has been updated and switching around the consumable of the uh, consumable of the spotter plane now moving to where the AA is. So you still have that choice if you want to run. A bit more of an aggressive build uh, where you can I could start putting shots in on the independence you can still run that you just have to switch out the AA and um, be even more effective at range you'll probably up tier a little bit better but you are gonna be a little susceptible to uh, airplanes and, and CVs if there are any um, which I just feel like there tend to be some uh, at the mid tiers and so I like to have the a consumable just to protect myself but overall this ship is great and um, 
I don't know why. I mean, I, it's a ship I would like to play more. I just tend to not play tier sevens as much. And um, overall, um, I think this ship is, is a go in case there ever is. If, I, honestly, if you have the choice between um, the Diosta at six and this at seven, I would really go with this. I think this is overall more fun. I think you'll do overall better with it. I think tier seven matchmaking is pretty awesome. Tier six tends to get picked on a little bit, but I think tier seven matchmaking tends to be great. And really even going against tier eight ships, you're gonna have a good time with this. Of course, going against anything other, you're gonna have some trouble like nines. But anyways, guys, just wanna make this quick little video over this fun Italian premium cruiser. So again, added the heel, makes it a bit more, have a bit more higher survivability, um, a bit more durable, and you can go in, go burn things down, and hoist it up for the Italian nation in the line. One of only three ships so far, so it'll be kind of cool to see where they go in the future with that line. But anyways, guys, just want to make this quick little video over the updated, finalized version. Um, you can go out and get pick up the ship yourself, go out and have some fun, and um, really hope you guys uh, enjoy the ship as much as I do. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.